Capricorn, welcome to your Astro Flower reading for the week going from the 22nd to the 28th of May. Um, welcome. How's your past week been? I uh, hope it's been good. Uh, how was the 17th, 18th and 19th? How did that go? Well, I certainly had lots of reasons to be triggered uh, in the last week, but I, I rose above it. I rose above it. It was good and it all came good. It was a very good self-reflectionary sort of uh, week I've had. Uh, as I'm a Capricorn as well. So, you know, let's get on with your reading here. Let's uh, thank you very much for being here. I uh, do appreciate you being here. Let's just see what's going on. Uh, so you get the overall energy for you uh, in this week here, which is the four of uh, one. So basically the combining of two ideas. Um, what you've got here, you've got the combining of two ones and two ones. So two ones is what you've been planning, what you want to do. It's the unification of your plans, basically, uh, both on your material side and on your relationship side, because this is the overall energy. Otherwise, if it was out in the cars, it'd be like to do with marriage or connecting with another company or something like that. But it's actually connecting with your inner plans, with the how you put them together, with the plans in the outside world at the moment. And it seems to be all, I love it when a plan comes together. Sort of scenario. That's the thing that's sort of happening for you here at the moment. So um, let's just see what's going on. And this is the karmic message on your relationship side. You've got to work on it. Uh, you've got to put the work on, work in. This is your karmic message. If you want relationships to work, you've got to put the work in. Um, I don't think you're fighting of that at all, actually, uh, as a sign. Um, I think you're willing to put the work in. Um, and I think you do put the work in people may not necessarily see it because you know Capricorns do tend to beaver away <coughs> on the surface <coughs> oh Cody's obviously seen a horse or something he's gone to say hello to the horse so um, yeah it's about you know the karmic message here is about sort of good quality work maybe it's realizing as well uh, for some of you that you have done the work that is a very strong possibility within your relationships and it's like you've put the work in karmically uh, and uh, you know uh, you should be getting some returns from it let's just see what's going on look, I've, look flies so you're just gonna have to make make a move make a move make a move there you go thank you very much you got the um, two of cups so it's the combining it's very much like this card in a way. Um, you've got one cup and one cup. It's combining your uh, ultimate heart's desires with the heart's desires of the universe that is around you, within the world that is around you um, in, emotionally. But then when you do that, then you create this force here, this Kundalini, this energy that flows through you, which is going to provide a lot for you in the way of relationships. It could also mean for some of you that you've done the work now upon yourself and you will find someone, the universe is going to maybe present someone to you uh, that is just totally corresponds to you. That's for some of you. Uh, and it could well mean that that's a whole sort of like unifying a marriage in that sort of thing for you. Um, but for some of you, it's also a fact that you've, you're finding your place within your relationships. Um, this could be your family, your friends, your community, every aspect of it all. And you're finding, um, yeah, the good place within the relationships that are around you that make you feel energised and, uh, yeah, very positive about your relationships that are around you. You've got the seven, you've got the eight of pentacles here. Oh, sorry. Do you know what? I confuse that with the eight of pentacles. I've got to tell you, because um, I'm truthful like that, you know, um, but I do still think that is, you know, nurturing. That's what it is, is nurturing your relationships. And I think you're very good at that as well. Um, but now we get the eight of pentacles. So that is that good quality work that you've done. Uh, and this is what it's done in the past. So it's exactly what I said anyway about that card there. Um, but that, that card there is the seven. So it's continuing to nurture your path. That is your karmic path. This is the eight of pentacles, what I thought it was earlier on. 
Uh, so the Eight of Pentacles is about that good quality work that you've done. This is where your guides are uh, advising you uh, on your karmic path from your past, basically. Uh, and I'm saying, as you've done, you've put the work in, in a relationship um, or in relationships that are around you. You've nurtured it and you're still nurturing it. And you're nurturing this connection you have, not only with yourself, but with the world that is around you, with the universe, um, in order for you to feel very content about what is going on in your relationships. Um, but yeah, so your past self is sort of saying to you, you've done the good quality work. You've done the work, um, you know. And this is your future self. It's almost as if like you've done that work and your future self is saying to you here, um, out with the old and in with the new, hmm, a possibility. Um, it's also um, new ideas that are coming to your spirit. Um, could be about new relationships and what have you. Uh, but it's also being getting passionate about new things, getting very sociable as well. Um, you know, this ace comes out of the universe. It's what the universe is bringing you. It's what the zeitgeist or is bringing you, what the, the heat of the moment or the, um, the passions of life that is around you. And I would get into that. And I would allow that to be a little bit of a guide according to your relationships. And, you know, if you need to be spontane spont spontaneous, oh, I got it eventually. <laughs> if you need to be spontaneous, then this is the week to do it. And, you know, uh, allow that to be your guide of how you drive your relationships forward. Let's see what's going on in your material side of life. Page of Swords. This is you on your karmic path. So the Page of Swords is about bright ideas, light bulb moments in a way. Um, it's like on your karmic path is start to trust in your ideas that you've had in the past. Let me just calm that wind a little bit. comes around and there it's going to come right um you've had bright ideas in the past and now it's a case here because it's on your karmic path it's a case of now honoring those ideas uh within your material world i think it's a case of you know um let's just say um you know i started i used to run um an organic fruit and veg import export business when i was young when i was 20 odd in my early 20s um, and because uh, I wanted obviously to be involved in the organic movement um, and then I you know the, the next step was I you know the, the idea was in the, the original plan was for me to get land in order to grow produce so I started up an export business so I had the money in order to buy the land uh, and I ended up opening up a supermarket um, and trying to combine with lots of local f farmers and everything like that in France uh, very interesting but it was just the ideas that I'd had in the past and supermarket or um, shop was one of those ideas and combining it with local farmers um, and that's what came to the surface in my life so it's like it's having those lofty ideas that you can cut through the mist in order to allow your ideas to happen the queen of swords this is how the universe is helping you. This is really good. So the, the Page of Swords is the person that clears the path for the knight to come through, which clears the danger in order for the king and queen to come through on the path. So your karmic path here is actually clearing your pathway to seeing those bright ideas so that they can give, you give the space to your ideas in order for them to grow in your life. And the Queen of Swords here is having a control over your emotions and conviction about what you're doing. And she's heading off in a direction. She's giving the signal of direction, of taking a direction. The King of Swords is looking straight in front of him. The Queen of Swords is actually going somewhere because she's emotionally in, co she's in coherence with, between her, her mind and her emotions, basically. Um, and this is what, you know, this is what the universe is trying to encourage you to do, to be true and clear to yourself in your material world 
and go for it, basically. Then you get the page of wands. This is your past guides that are trying to influence your karmic path. So your past guides here is saying, don't forget about your passions of why you started this. Going back to my organic fruit and veg. I started it because I wanted to bring uh, groups of producers or farmers together so that then, you know, we can get a very clear um, picture of or clear um, avenue or uh, process of going from field to customer. So then, you know, taking a lot of the, the middle people out of the situation uh, in order for, you know, for everybody to really uh, get the best out of organic produce. And the ones here is doing the same sort of thing is, is in your past is recognizing the things that you made you passionate about what you're doing to clear, you know, clearing those paths in order to get the success that you want. It's all about clearing the paths at the moment for you. And then we get your future self, which is your future guides which is like um egging you on is egging you on to the king of pentacles this is a taurus card but very much an earth card so you can very much use it within your uh, world and sphere uh, there's a lot of passion and um you know mental activity going on here um you know uh there's only one cup on the table uh there's no major arcanas here it's very much business as usual in a way or getting things done um and that's what's driving you on you're clearing that path in order to get um uh, security and abundance through the knowledge of how you do things the process of which you physically have to go through in order to get that success that's what the king of pentacles is all about and then at the front at the front end of it is the knight of cups now, the Knight of Cups is, um, as I say, uh, it's coming after the pages because the pages have cleared the, the, the uh, you know, the process of it. Uh, and the Page of Cups is now sort of uh, the King of Cups. <laughs> I'll get it out in a minute. The Knight of Cups is coming through um, with offerings for you. And it could well be offerings of love that come to you through, um, through this week. Um, someone may pronounce themselves to you through this week, but it also could mean um, new contracts, new um, business ventures, um, you know, uh, the start of uh, new things, start of very much socialising or connecting with other people. It's definitely a new thing that's coming through at the moment because we've got that, that four of wands as well, which is uh, going from one dimension to another, stepping up to a whole new sort of, uh, new way of doing things that you can manifest it if you clear your paths clearly there is obviously this card there's cards that want to jump out you know and having those healthy boundaries is really important not going back to the past and going to the future basically uh, into the new um, new logical evolution as I've been calling it so with the um, with the four of uh, once you get the king of wands You've got to go through this. Only you can do this. And you've got to be a leader uh, in this. You, there's no more doubts in you. You've just got to go ahead and do it. And you've got to make it. You've got to make it. Because that's no other way in which you can see it, uh, Capricorn. And it looks like it's certainly within your financial side, that's exactly where you're going. And we can also see it on your relationship side because you put that work in. It's now waiting for the rest of the world to get involved. So the seven of um, pentacles is... Uh, clarified by the Ten of Swords. Now, the Ten of Swords is the end of something. So this is what you've nurtured yourself out of painful situations. And you should realise the work that you've done, the good quality work you've done with the, um, with the Eight of Pentacles. You know, she's looking to the future. She's looking towards that sun, that happiness after that difficulty. And this is the way in which you've got to do it. You've got to be a leader in your own life. Um, there's no doubt about it. Let's see what we're the clarification on the two of cups here from the universe. What's that bringing in here? Lovers. I think you've nurtured yourself or your karmic path enough now. And you, I think you're ready to uh, receive love within your life. And this doesn't necessarily mean if you're with someone already, it could be a realisation on both your paths of yourself and of your partner. So then you renew your love. 
Uh, it could be, if you're looking for love, it could be this is where you're finding your heart's desires. You're really your, um, your twin flame in a way. Uh, and because you've done that good quality work and happiness after difficulties. And we've now got two tens on the decks, you know, ten of swords to the ten of cups. So there's something that's changing within your relationships here because of the good work you've done, the happiness after difficulty. And you saw the nine of wands earlier on. If you see on this card here, you see that's where the nine of wands are. That's what they've had to come through in order to get to that happiness. And they are those healthy boundaries of saying, we're not going back there. And the four of wands is a bit of a start of that scenario of heading towards your happiness, uh, basically, after difficulty. With the ace of wands, you get the queen of pentacles. Now, that's quite nice because you've got the king of pentacles on the other side, giving you a very balanced view here. With these new passions and stuff like that, it's going to make you, because you've done the good work in the past, you know the processes of what activities you like to do in order to make you feel happy and content and uh, secure in your life. And the, and the process in which you um, explore life will really connect with other people in a really good way, uh, in a very concrete way, um, through activities and through passions. Um, and you may well meet someone, say, like, if you're passionate about, let's say, ballroom dancing, uh, you know, uh, you know, uh, you might, that's where you might meet that person. Um, that sort of thing uh, within your life. And it's getting out there and getting, knowing things that make you feel happy is getting out there and getting involved. Let me just get my queen of swords. I was getting, obviously, my, I didn't have a control over my emotions. The wind, what are you playing at? Um, <clears throat> so, yeah. That's the sort of thing that's coming in here. Let's just see, um, you know, uh, what's going on here. It's funny because the wind blew it off this way. The wind's now going back this way. And I've been wondering whether she'll blow this way now. Because she's pointing, she's pointing, when she's on, when she's on the deck, she's actually pointing that way. When I'm looking at it, she's actually pointing, you know, the opposite way. Uh, and she was going and it was blowing up against it. Uh, so, you know, um, it may mean that the Page of Swords, those bright ideas, may fly in the, in the sense of uh, the rest of the world, but it makes sense for you, in a way, if you know what I mean. Uh, you know, and sometimes bucking the trend can be a really good thing. With the Page of um, Swords, you get the Nine of Cups, which is really good. You're the only sign to get the Nine of Cups as yet. Um, and I think these bright ideas that you've got that is going to make a clear path for you going forward is going to bring a lot of gifts for you within your life. It's going to bring you a lot of success by the looks of things. Uh, a lot of possibilities are opening up to you. With the Queen of Swords, you get the Nine of Pentacles. This is really good. We've now got two tens over this side. We've now got two non nines over here. And nine is the ultimate realization, basically. And it's realizing, because you've got this clear-cut vision of where you're going, it's realizing that actually there is a lot of fruits on your path. And that comes through in a very sort of a message from the universe, a realization kind of going, oh, wow, that popped out of nowhere. Oh, that's a really good heads up. And the universe is here is sort of saying, you've got the possibilities here to really uh, make some, some good gains in your life, as it were. With the knight, with the page of wands, uh, you get the six of cups. Um, so this is um, page of page of wands is about exploring your passions, as I said, and being true to your passions of the past of things coming up. From the, yeah, okay. So this is what I said about the ideas. Uh, you know, sorry, it took me a bit of a second to work it out. I do apologise. Um, you know, these bright ideas that I say that you know you should be true to. This is what this is all about. There's the happiness that got you on your path of where you're going on your material path uh you know should be very present within your life uh should be present within you uh and it's almost a case of um you know uh, recognizing the the joy of what you've started in your life the path that you're going down um and allow those uh, passions of the origins come back within your life and it will send you into a completely new dimension 
with the knight, with the king of pentacles, you get justice, justice as well. Um, justice is all about balance and harmony. Um, it's also about sort of karmic sort of um, rewards, as it were. Um, I think here is as well is like it's almost sort of saying you are just in what you do. Uh, if you are just in what you're doing, you're going forward and you deserve it. It's almost as if like I'm getting a sense that you know that you deserve this. You know you deserve this success. And uh, it could have been Pluto that had been playing sort of complications within your life that will be coming back within your life in, in November and December. But, uh, um, you're, you know, you've been through a lot. You've been through an incredible amount, Capricorn. Uh, you know, the most of, you know, when I've seen, uh, I've seen my life, but I've also seen in the cars as well, there's been a lot going on in your life and it's um you've dealt with a lot so therefore you're going to get like justice because of the work you've done the you know what you've had to deal with with the queen of with the knight of cups we get the nine of swords that comes back up again with these new offerings um that are coming into your life and this could be regardless of whether it's um on the romantic side or on the relationship side or on your material side, it's sort of saying here that with these new uh, offerings and these new possibilities, these new contracts and new job or whatever it is coming into your life, um, there is um, you've got to recognise um, those healthy boundaries which we found on the Ten of Cups. You've got to recognise that I'm not going to choose this and degrade my original ideas and the original work that I've done in my life, the boundaries that I've put in place. And you should recognize those boundaries. And sometimes it's sometimes it's not good to accept the first offer. And it might be a case here that it's with that nine of wands, in the coming week there's a there's a there's a sort of negotiation that needs to happen. Obviously that can uh, that can be tied into your material side. But even on your relationship side, there seems to be a sort of kind of like finding a happy medium that doesn't really sort of sell you short, basically. Uh, and, and, you know, so you don't go back to that Ten of Swords scenario. OK, uh, there you go, Capricorn. Thank you very much for being here. I hope you got the best out of this reading. Um, I've got your monthlies coming up next week. So the collective on Monday, that's tomorrow. And... Um, then your uh, individual signs on Tuesday and Wednesday. On the 11th of uh, June, I will be doing a live reading uh, collaboration with a channel called uh, Veritas Tarot, which you can, uh, with Victoria. Uh, she's done a little, little, little video to explain how to get involved uh, in this uh, reading, where we can answer any questions live through the cards or through your chakras and aura or even through healing, or through our intuition, and combining our sort of arts, as it were, in order to give you a really nice rounded message. Now that will be found, you can find a link in the description below to that. Um, it'd be great to have you there, join in. It'd be absolutely brilliant. Uh, in the meantime, hope you got the best out of this. I will see you soon. Uh, don't forget, life should be fun, so please do enjoy.